Hey everyone, finish watching the next episode of Beetleborgs to foretell the truth. The astral coins go missing and the monsters claim they don't know what happened. Flabber calls a psychic to help find them. The monsters offer her a ton of money to tell their fortunes. She tells the kids to search for the coins far away. While they're gone, she can exploit the monsters' gullibility. Haribel and Mantix, one of the Mantrons, attack. The kids Borg and battle them. At Hillhurst, the psychic gets fed up with the monsters and storms off. Just then, Vylor barges in and demands Flabberand over the Astral Sword. Joe shows up and drives off Vylor. She goes back to help the others. Meanwhile, Flabber tries asking the monsters again if they took the coins, but they all insist they didn't. It turns out Mums took one. Flabber teleports it to Joe, and it becomes Fireborg. He drives off Mantix and gives Joe a new weapon. Fireborg teleports away. The kids go back to Hillhurst, where Flabber is using a metal detector to look for the remaining coins. This episode's pretty nothing. It's okay, but underwhelming. There's a lot of stuff introduced that goes nowhere, and other stuff that gets really lame payoffs. The psychic I thought would be a bigger plot point, but she just leaves halfway through and doesn't affect anything. Mums took one of the coins, and there's not really any reason. Mantix is the main Mantron here, but there's no reason for him to be singled out from the others. He doesn't have any unique abilities that make him necessary any more or less than any of the other ones. The biggest disappointment is definitely Fireborg. He just pops in, gives Joe a new weapon, and then leaves. Welp, one of the Mantrons technically got a focus, so I'll go over their voice actor. Mantix was voiced by Ezra Weiss, who's done many voices for other Savant productions as well as anime. He's also a prolific voice director in anime dubbing. Fireborg was voiced by Gene Holliday. He previously voiced a one-off monster earlier in Metallics and had some anime dubbing roles in the late 90s to the early 2000s. The psychic was played by Sheila Oaks. I'm not sure if it's the same actress, but IMDb credits her with acting roles from the 70s to the present. So yeah, not an impressive episode, unfortunately. Uh, maybe Fireborg will get to do more later. So that's it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. See ya. Hi, I'm Fireborg. I'm Wait, I got the